Hey everybody, welcome to another M13 Swiss Draft. What do we got? What do we got? Where do we got? Uh, I think Harbor Bandit is where I want to be. I'm going to hit blue, black. I'm going to hit the ground running with it. Or I can go hard with the flunkies. Let's me stay a little more open. May even table the Reckless Brute. Maybe we go all in flunkies. Finally hit that tormented soul flunky deck. If the harbor bandit gets around, maybe we splash. I'm gonna go flunkies right off the bat. Oh yeah, that's a flunkies deck. So reckless brute and crinkles command could both table. Blood Runner bet probably the better card, but we're gonna go flunkies all day. Let's see if this works out. Well, they are making a case for blue. The red isn't that strong. The question is do we want to keep evasive aggro with Welkin turn? Or we can go more spellcrafty, but the black's not here. I think I'm taking this Welkin turn. Just aggro. Yes. Yeah, we're getting aggressive. Getting aggressive tonight. Alrighty. So we could go tricks of the trade. Battle Jester. Not really speaking to me. The black's not showing up. This pack's kind of dead. Green's kind of here. With Arbor Elf. And red green's pretty good. We don't have to cement ourselves in the blue. And Tricks of the Trade is a fine card. But maybe we take the elf here. Have two possibilities for a second color. Or we cut red. I think the green's strong enough. I'm not the biggest fan of Battle Jester. Alright, there's a Krinkos Command. We're definitely gobbling that up. Uh, Phantasm would be... Could be actually good. Also a Windrake. The blue is here, but maybe we're better off just taking red for cutting purposes, but I think I want to cut blue flyers as well. This question is, do we want the one drop? Or just the, the old reliable. Kind of tempted to take the phantasm. Kringus commands a safe pick. I think I'm taking the phantasm here. We're gonna get super aggressive. At least try to. So green's kind of not an option anymore. We're looking more towards blue. And maybe we get a little mill sub theme going. Draw spell doesn't interest me. Far seeks is a possibility. If we want to try the rug. I think since we picked Phantasm, we should have some support card for that. So that's my thinking there. Uh, we could go hard on the Trumpet Blast if we took that Krinko's command. Maybe we just take this unsummon. Yeah, I think uh, we're going to want this more than the Trumpet Blast since... Well, if that other Krinko's Command tables. But as far as what we got now, I think unsummon is the best card. Not picking Cleaver Riot. I'm just going to pick a Divination. And green's not happening. A little cut on red. We're going to really want that... Uh, Reckless Brute to table. That'll be a big sign and a big help to us. Alright, so here's our first pack. Arbor Elf still in here. So it's Divination, Arbor Elf, Evolving Wilds. We're not really ramping in it much, so the Arbor Elf doesn't make too much sense. I think I'm just going to take the draw card. 
and a third Arbor Elf. Ridiculous. But I'm going to take the Evolving Wilds. Well, let's, let's just throw everything. I can't. I can't. Yeah. Three Arbor Elves. I can't believe that. So, we started off on a Flunky's plan. Moved into blue. With a little bit of green on the tail end. Our deck doesn't have too much going for it right now, other than a strong start. Hulk, isn't there where I wanted to go? I think I just take the Canyon Minotaur. Oh, Kindle Fury. like that card. Not picking naturally. Not bad with flunkies. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take it. Not mostly gonna play it. Not the strongest pack one. I'll admit it. I think we're fighting to get into red. Well, well, well. For red, we could take the intimidate, which is pretty good with flunkies but a little slow. Rummaging Goblin. Just for digging. Which I kind of like. This deck wanted to be aggro, but a little less towards it now. Maybe we can get one twos and then use our later drops to dig to help, help them through. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna try and get ones and two drops and then go late game with utility creatures. I could take in Crust here. Provocateur actually isn't that bad. It is a late game utility creature. So if we're gonna jump on that, we're gonna have to put a premium on ones and two drops. Fairy Invaders is really strong, but I think I want the utility to see if this weird kind of archetype works. Uh, we're taking Searing Spear or Scroll Thief. Pretty plain. Here's where we're taking Krinko's Command. And we want a premium on our Kaomancers as well. And Trumpet Blast. And a Reckless Brute. Yeah, I think he gets the nod. So we got some of the cards we wanted there. Green is no longer happening. So we definitely need more one drops. Can't think of much. Goblin Arsonist would be one of the better ones. There's our Tormented Soul. Pray upon that we're out of green. Dragon Hatchling isn't that bad with flunkies. And there's no way in hell I'm trying to get into black. And as much as this green is really speaking to me. Visionary and Pray Upon, these are pretty late. Someone's going to have a very nice green deck. Minus the Arbor Elves. But I don't want to go into green. Blue red is what we're doing. We passed all those evolving wilds. We're committed. Another tormented soul. Just assholes. Well, I'm taking him. I, I want to live that tormented soul mog flunky deck dream. But it's so hard to get him, apparently. Boom! That's what we like to see. I think we take another Phantasm. I really want to hit those ones and twos. Much more than a Reckless Brute. So, that's a pretty good pick. As much as I want to play this Tormented Soul, Phantasm's going to do its job. Not as amazing an invasion, but more upside for late game. So what we really want is maybe that Provocateur will uh, table. I'm thinking this card could be our linchpin. Where if we have Crack and Hatchling and Mog Flunky, we'll just pick them off. 
making them attack or block or whatever attacks that's what I want uh, metal wits not so much I don't want to play this merfolk but I just might <laughs> ooh encrusted tables that's nice no I'm not playing the merfolk just kidding on that one but anyway hatchling with flunkies equals defensive provocateur otherwise we'll be aggressive with it Wall of Fire? I still hate Cleaver Riot. Uh, if we get skies, it'll be nice to have a, a fire wall on the ground. We have some flyers, this will this can hold down the fort. Hydra Surge, look out. Really hoping I get at least one Archaeomancer. And another burn spell would be pretty good too. But our curve is really nice. Nice defensive late game creatures. And a few more flyers wouldn't hurt. Ah, oh, Fire Elemental. Not bad. Probably play that over the Canyon Minotaur. So our deck's starting to take shape. A little removal light, but we have good draw. And a real strong, aggressive start. Hopefully. Another flunkies or two would be pretty sweet. Let's see what we get. Hmm. There's our one drop. Essence scatter could be pretty good. But a lot of good things in Hero Table. I'll be happy with the Whelp, the Invaders, the Scatter, the Reckless Brute. In fact, Arsons could table, but I really want our one drops to be pretty stacked. I want to get those flunkies rolling. And Hatchling feels somewhat similar to roll the, the Whelp. Yeah, I think this Brute might table. The red player will take the whelp over it. Someone could just take it because it's foil. But we're going to take Arcanist. Feeling a little regretful about not taking the Essence Scatter, maybe. Ooh, another Phantasm. Splash Rancor. It's not the worst idea. But we're going to take another Phantasm. Filling up our one drops. Yeah, this deck might turn into a nice aggressive beatdown. At least I'm hoping for it. Uh, here's another Searing Spear. Maybe that Augur tables, but I doubt it. Really hoping for an Achaomancer. That could be real good in this deck. Alrighty. Arctic Haven isn't that bad, just as a 2-1 flyer. Basically a Windrake. Maybe we throw in a Plains just on the off chance we get it. I think it's worth it. The other option is a Dragon Hatch Lane. Which I'm pumping mana into. The black, the green. Both very good, but we'll just take the potential better Windrake. Another Welkin Turn is pretty awesome here. How many Merfolk do we have? Illusion. Is it just Merfolk or the Pearl Trident? That's the Merfolk in the set? Anyway, welcome turn it is. Ooh, look at all these goodies. I think sleep is what we want to do. Let's us uh, swing on through for the win. On some Essence Scatter would have been great, but... As that's how magic is drafted, all your goodies in one pack. You gotta make that tough decision. Ooh! This is our mancer. Passing all these essence scatters, but I think our deck's gonna be fine without them. Hmm. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, two drops. One, two, three, four, five. Not playing the hatchling. 
Five one drops. Cross isn't going to be doing much because I doubt three guys are going to be attacking us. Do we want the flyer or the linchpin? I think I'm going to try out Provocateur. Fairy Invaders is super good and wouldn't be bad to have, but I want the Provocateur to do something good, and I think this deck might be the one to do it. Uh, we're taking the Reckless Brute. All in curve. Ooh, and we <laughs> we're blessed with the late Fairy Invaders. Definitely taking that over a second in crust. I guess we'll hate the Merfolk. Just because someone's got the, the Lord out there. Or maybe the Lord tables and we <laughs> we go bomb. Uh, sure. Ooh, Trumpet Blast. That's sweet. So we're going to cut that. Cut anything defensive. Minus the Corley Provocateur. No, hide this. Probably cut the Kindled Fury. Well, we got our aggressive curve. No one can tell us different. If I would have known I was going to end up with all these Merfolk, maybe I should have taken the Lord. Probably just play one Provocateur. I don't think we can afford not to play that. You're the, uh, the mill dude. The Veldelkin and Trancer? Yeah. With three Phantasms, you almost have to. Funky's Brute, Brute, Goblin, Trumpet. That's 26. So many creatures. And just draw spells. That is sweet. So, one provocateur to start. Fairy Invader's just too high on the curve. That's 24. That was easy. Let's see what it looks like color. Nine seven. I feel eight eight is fine. No, oh, but we gotta. F <laughs> we want to even put that planes in. Yeah, I think just for the comedic value. If we do hit it, if we do hit two cards out of forty. So I am going to cut a mountain, because I really want that one drop. That's a really taxed mana base. But we stop off at four, and it's all one, twos, and threes. We have three sources of draw to dig through to find another one. Yeah, I think that's fine. Alrighty, aggressive dot deck. Let's hope we do well with it. I'll see you for round one. I did have one last minute retraction. I added a Kindled Fury and cut the Dragon Hatchling. My thought is, if I play a Reckless Brute on turn four and have Kindled Fury, he could kill something sweet, or at least not die, and kill two creatures. Anyway, he won't be completely dead in my hand with a Kindled Fury. I think it might be good. Anyway, we'll find out. See you again for round one.